Why you don't just upload the music? I'm sorry. You, you yeah. gotta, you gotta sure. take it seriously. I mean, start from the beginning, Jay. Tell me how you feel, son. <laughs> Tell me you don't want no bitch asses. So we've been screening these, these, uh, what is it? Say? Submissions. These entries, these submissions, and tell them why you're mad, son. Yeah, I'm not mad about it, but I mean, you know, when somebody tells you, you first and foremost, you got to follow the rules and pay attention. It is a contest that says submit radio content. You know we can't play, you know, explicit content on the radio. So why would you submit a song with this curse word every 10 seconds? I mean, pay attention, you know what I'm saying? Come on. From if, if that's the best song that you got, because that's what I'm guessing they send it. I'm guessing you're sending your best material. You know what I'm saying? And if your best material is a song that's cursing every 10 seconds in it, then, I mean, we don't need that. You know, we understand the quality isn't going to be the best, that's why you're doing this, so you can get a better quality sound. Okay, we can listen past the quality of your sound. You know what I mean? But let's be serious. You know what I'm saying? Gimmicks, cut it out. Shouldn't come on one song sounding like Gucci, and the next song sounding like Jim Jones. Have an identity. Know who you are, stop trying to be like, you know what I'm saying? Stop trying to be the next so-and-so and be the first whoever you are. You know what I'm saying? That, that's important, you know, but I mean, just listening to to what's everything sounds local. It sounds mm -hmm. lo everything sounds local. Nothing is stood out. Sound like the Sunday night spotlight. Yeah, everything sounds like local submissions. Yeah. Everything just sounds like oh yeah, you know we we local you know artists in VA in Virginia Beach or Norfolk or, or Newport News or wherever it may be in the seven cities. Nothing is standing out, nothing is saying, okay, I could be an artist, you know. So we're trying to give the time to somebody who takes this seriously and wants to go to the next level, you know, want to help him get there. But not following the rules, not having an identity, you know, trying to, trying to do a record like this person or that person, it's just, it's not working. It's, it's not working. It's just one big local talent show right now. I mean, how many of those do, do, does VA have? It's one of those, what, every couple of weeks, every other weekend or something? Every week. Show, it, every week. If that's, if that's what we, I mean, that's what we wanted. We could have we hit up a couple of those, right? right? That's not what we're looking for. You know? It's, it's just not working right now. And if you don't know how to use auto-tune, don't use it. <laughs> if you don't know what key your song is in, don't use it. You know what I'm saying? If you can't sing, don't use it. Don't don't even try don't even try to use it to make you sound good. We heard one of those and it was a complete fail. Complete fail. From start to finish. <laughs> I said, damn, how you make auto tune sound bad? It's supposed to make you sound better. It actually made somebody sound worse. I think the number one problem is beyond this competition and what you submitting. People, I don't think anybody, a lot of people who we didn't like, I don't think they've let five people listen to their song give them honest criticism. Because if they submitted this song or let five people other than them submitting this song hear it, it wouldn't even got to us. Because hopefully somebody would have been honest with them and be like, this auto tunes sounds like a two-year-old. Like... I don't even think, you know what I'm saying, they've let other people within their group or within their family or people just walking down here, hey, listen to this real quick, tell me what you think about it. Criticism is the best way to make your craft the best. You know what I'm saying, let people criticize your work, give you pointers, and if you suck, you suck, and then, you know, shit, find something else with you. Well, you know, family always the ones, though, that be the ones to tell you you are hype. Mm -hmm. You don't need a hype man. You need somebody who's going to be honest. That's what I'm saying. So, ask somebody walking down the street. You know what I'm saying? You, look. I'm trying to make it, let me know what you think. Give me your honest opinion, so I'm trying to be the best. I'm saying I'm open to all criticism. I don't need no hype man. I don't need no yes man, yes woman. I need somebody to tell me the honest to God truth. Because I'm thinking about submitting this into this contest. And I'm not going to put my name 
out there and it's garbage. Because that's what a lot of people are doing. I mean, I know you at this point. I know the people who sound like garbage by name. Aunt G. Anything else, eh? So, everybody got everything <laughs> off their mind. So, this is my question. So, the beats. Because, like, the one guy who we said, all right, let's just see what happens with this young man. His beat with the guy with the, oh, I'm going to get serious. Oh, yo, yeah. I mean, that was horrible. Like, what if somebody comes in here? Like, how does that work? They come in here with their own beats, and if it's just like, I don't care how good you make them sound, you saying through what he's spitting on the mic, if his beat is horrible, what are y'all gonna do? Ain't much you can really do when it comes to especially beat is horrible. Yeah, That's what especially do. they give you a two track beat where you you can't you can't do anything unless they can get that beat tracked out by the producer. I mean, that's just the reality of what your, your demo is going to sound like. Mm, you shouldn't be getting beats from... Producers have the equipment necessary to track your beats out. If you don't know what tracking your beat is, tracking it out means, I'm going to tell you, but you shouldn't be a producer. Tracking your beat out means you need to have a, a DAW, a digital audio workstation, to where you can place everything in its separate file. Your kick should be separate. Your snare should be separate. Your hi hat should be separate. Your tom should be separate. Your synths, your your, your 808s, you know what I'm saying? Your piano, whatever it may be, everything needs to be separate. You know why? That way, because half of you don't know how to mix your tracks. So that way, when your snare is too loud and you're two track, we can turn it down. If you decide you wanted to put reverb on your snare and it doesn't belong there, we can take care of that if it's tracked out so if you're messing with a producer make sure you can track out his beat if you are a producer track out your beat if you don't know what tracking out your beat is look it up google it or something educate yourself be able to track out your stuff so we don't have this problem well it's the second night of listening what have we heard nothing a whole, a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. This is just what was submitted online. We still haven't, you know, addressed the physical submissions. You know, people drop things off. So, you know, this is just based off of what people submitted online. Uh, so, yeah. Uh. Yo, so, it's a wrap, y'all. Y'all took this information and using it to y'all advantage. We'll see y'all the next listening.